Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 15th of 2020. Well, it is titled Comet Neowise over the Swiss Alps. So what do we see here? Well, once again, we see Comet Neowise, a very popular site for photographers right now, as it's one of the uh, brightest comets that we've had in recent times, especially for those living in the northern hemisphere. And it is actually visible right now, right uh, after sunset and right before sunrise. Now, how might that work? Well, uh, where Comet Neowise is located in the sky is very far north. And that makes it a circumpolar object. And what that means is that from various locations on the Earth, especially uh, northern hemisphere regions, it never appears to set. And it will be it will rise uh, or sorry, it will come around very close to the horizon as we can see here and never actually dip below the horizon. And as so as it begins to set and then it would begin to rise up again. So here we see it over the Swiss Alps like that and it never actually reaches the horizon. Now this occurs when something is close enough to the North Celestial Pole in the circle that it makes around the pole as all objects do does not intersect the horizon then it will always remain above the horizon. And this can happen with any object depending on your location. So objects very far north, uh, such as the sun, so, so when you're very far north, objects such as the sun may appear to never set. And that's where we get the midnight sun when you're at very far northerly latitudes. Now you have to be pretty far north to be able to see this very northern Canada, the northern tip of Alaska, uh, very northern Scandinavia will get this. And you have to be that far and you will actually see the sun at least a few days of the year dip down close to the horizon but never actually cross it meaning that you would have the sun up for 24 hours a day. Now further south latitudes would get very very long days uh, during the summer and very very short ones during the winter. And you can get the opposite effect during the winter where the object would never even rise. So while Comet Neowise is very prominent for those in the northern hemisphere, if you're far enough south, it would never appear to rise above the horizon. So further southern regions would not get the chance to see this comet at all. And it all just has to do with the positioning of where the comet happens to be on our celestial sphere. And here we see a number of different images of it uh, taken over the course of a night. These are about 30 minutes apart uh, taken on July 12th and 13th. So just a couple of days ago. And we can see the comet as it appeared to move uh, as the Earth rotated. So we could see its position constantly changing over the course of the night. So if you have a chance, this is a great time to be able to try to see this comet uh, looking out uh, right after a sunset or right before sunrise. And especially a pair of binoculars really helps to be able to pick out the comet uh, from the little bit of glare as for left over from the sun. So you get a little bit you can see off to the left hand side here the glare of the sun. Uh, but the comet would still be visible, say, especially if you have a pair of binoculars to be able to pick it out. So a great chance to be able to see a comet over the coming week or so. So that was our picture of the day for July the 15th of 2020. It was titled Comet Neowise over the Swiss Alps. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.